Monterey PUD is a utility that is situated in the northeast corner of Washington. We're rural. You know, when you look at Glacier National Park, I own, that's the Ponderay uh, PUD. We're out in the middle of nowhere. We have six substations servicing each one. They're probably all right in somewhere between 30 MVA transformers and 50 MVA transformers, so somewhere in there. When we looked at our substation, we had an RTU infrastructure that was aging somewhere between 17 and 18 years old. Inside of the RTU are all of the I.O. boards that are connected up to the RTU. These I.O. boards, both analog and digital, were beginning to give us indications of failures. Um, it was telling us we needed to replace it. We had field wiring inside of this that comes from our relay racks, comes from out in the yard, coming back into this cabinet that would all have to get replaced. If we replace this chassis, everything inside of here would also get replaced. So we wanted to avoid that if that was possible. We were really, we're traveling down the path of just replacing, getting an upgrade to uh, this particular RTU, get the, the next version of it. Then we were contacted by Schweitzer at some point during that process that said that they were looking at uh, a cabling system which allowed us to maintain all of our field wiring, all of our field wiring, but replace the RTU with an RTAC. The RTAC was a good fit for Pondre PUD for a number of reasons. Built-in security from the ground up, integration capability of adding your relays into the system. Previously at Pondre PUD, they did not have data from a lot of their relays in their substations, so it was an added benefit for them to be able to upgrade to a more modern RTU and get a little bit better picture of their power system health. Pondre PUD was looking specifically at the difficulty of rewiring their substation RTUs, so we developed a cabling solution for them that would intercept places in the field wiring. There were logical places where we could simply land a cable, intercept the field wiring without any modifications, and make it a simple plug-and-play solution. We were two-thirds of the way into the process of replacing our existing RTU structure with, with the, the replacement board. So, so we kind of just put that on hold and said, all right, well, let's give these guys a shot, because if it works, which we thought it would, if it does work, it's going to save us a ton, and we get the new infrastructure. So this is what it looks like when we get all done. Prior to this installation, we had uh, other vendors' I.O. equipment in here, in here, and then the old RTU was up in this area. That all comes out, comes out, comes out, and now replaced it with the Axion equipment. So this is the I.O., the Axion I.O. statuses, analogs, and uh, outputs. Take that fan DB25, connect it up into what is going to be the wiring into the new I.O. and now your field is connected up to the Axion. The Axion is now cabled up to the RTAC and those, now those two systems are communicating up to the RTAC ready to be sent to the substation. So the RTAC is the, the brains of the operation if you will. It's the computing engine, it's the standards engine that, that collects all the data and sends it back to our SCADA master. The Axion is the I.O. portion of the whole system, so they've separated it, so if you need lots of analogs, lots of statuses, whatever it is, they have a product line that will support whatever you're trying to do. This has been an excellent project. Now we can begin getting that next level of data, so when we have outages, we can be confident of where the, the first open point or the next open point is on this, so we can begin repairing our system that much quicker. You know, it's all about reducing time of outage. That's, you know, for a customer, they don't care why their power's out. They just want to know when it's coming back. And so the faster we can figure out where it's out, the faster we can repair it and get them back in service.